Hi, I'm Phil the Storyteller. And I'm Will, the music teacher. And now we have a story from ancient Greece. Zeus stayed on the top of Mount Olympus. And he looked down to the world, and there was nothing going on. There no, were no reptiles, mammals, insects, fish, amphibians, birds, nothing. And so he approached two brothers, Prometheus and Epimetheus. And he said, boys, I would like you to go down to the earth and make things happen. Put things in the earth so we can watch and have our pleasure. Well, the two boys went down, and Epimetheus, he was the most enthusiastic. He started grabbing bits of mud and clay and putting them together, and then forming creatures. He formed a creature with a long neck and called it a giraffe. He got another creature and formed a shell, and Epimetheus said, what's that? I don't know. I think I'm going to call it a turtle. Well, he made birds, and he made wolves, bears, lizards, and snakes. But all the while, his brother, Prometheus, watched, watched his brother. And at the end said, brother, you have done a great job. Some of these creatures are extraordinary. They're all very beautiful, but I'm going to learn from your mistakes. Mistakes? What mistakes? Platypus. Oh, oh, right, yeah, okay, okay, mistakes. I'm going to learn from your mistakes. I'm going to make something on two legs. He got the clay and he worked for ages and he formed something so beautiful even all the other animals watched in amazement. He made humans. And when they were finished, Zeus looked down and said, You have done well, boys, very well. But those humans, I don't like them, Prometheus. They're too like us. They're too like the gods. And therefore, I'm going to make sure they don't survive. Zeus sent all sorts of storms down. The humans took shelter. The humans got cold. The humans couldn't eat well because the humans did not have fire. Prometheus did not want his creations to suffer. And so one night he climbed Mount Olympus himself while the gods were asleep. And he stole the fire from the gods. He went down the mountain and he gave the fire to the humans, who began to warm themselves, who began to cook food, who began to sit around the fire and talk and explore the world in their minds. Zeus was outraged. Now these creatures would be like gods. And he decided to punish Prometheus. He took Prometheus to a cliff. He tied Prometheus to the cliff in chains. Prometheus was there all day. And every night, vultures came down. And whilst he was still alive, they pecked at his liver and they ate his liver, ripping it between them. And every morning, the liver grew again. finished yet. He said, Epimetheus, come here. I don't want you to make the same mistake. So you're getting married. Am I getting married? Yes, you are getting married. And he took one of the humans, a young woman called Pandora, and he said, Epimetheus, this is your wife. Enjoy your company together, and I'm going to give you a wedding present for your wife. It is a box. 
And here you are, what a lovely box it is. But you must never, ever, ever look in the box. And then Zeus turned away, laughing, and went. Epimetheus and Pandora lived in their palace. But every day, Pandora looked at the box. She was human, and she was curious. It is what makes us human. Pandora kept going up to the box, listening to the box, trying to lift the lid. But no, nothing. But then one day, when Epimetheus was out correcting some of his mistakes, Pandora approached the box. And there were voices coming from the box. Pandora listened. And the voices said, Pandora, Pandora, let us out. Let us out, please. Oh, Pandora, please let us out. It's so cruel that you keep us in here. Pandora, Pandora, you're very beautiful. Let us out, please, let us out. Pandora said, but I don't know how to open the box. There's a key, there's a golden key underneath. Hold on, she found the key. She said, I'm going to open the box. She put the key in the lock, turned it, and the box lid flew open. Pandora fell back onto the marble and looked up. My name is Famine. My name is Hunger. And the creature called out and scuttled across the marble. Another set of claws came out. Another creature. My name is Violence. Whenever man hits a woman, I'm there. Whenever children are beaten, I'm there. And off went Violence. Then lies came. Came out and then war. I bring disaster. War came out, but then something floated out, floated, and it said, I am disease. I am a virus. I will spread through all the humans. And my virus will infect them. And I will come back year after year after year after year. And the virus disease went away. Pandora sat alone, crying. But there was something else. A little scrape. And a little head came up. A shy head. A head that looked around and said, Are you Pandora? Yes, said Pandora. Who are you? Me. My name is Hope. You cannot have my other brothers and sisters unless you have me. Hope. And Hope turned into a butterfly and flew out of the box. Prometheus tied to the cliff, looked down, and saw the humans he had made turn to war, turn to violence, turn to hate, turn to lies. He saw them hurt each other, be cruel to each other. This is not what he wanted. He saw disease ravage them. He saw hunger diminish them. He saw poverty grind them down. And then he looked up and passed his face before the butterfly. And even though he was in agony, Prometheus smiled as the butterfly of hope landed on his heart. And my friends, that Well, my dear isolated friends, it's goodbye from me, Phil the Storyteller. And from Will, the Music Teacher. Bye. Bye-bye.